Tippy's back. I'm pretty sure that's Tippy. We haven't found Tippy. We haven't seen him, seen him in a day or two. But the deer are coming back. <laughs> Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. There were about 10 of them out here. Hey guys. They come through there. No tippy yet though, last couple days. But it's been cold and rainy, so maybe he's just chilling out. Finch is yelling at him. Wrens, I mean. I don't think any of those are tippy. I don't think, I think those are just the kits. So we haven't seen tippy. This is day three now. This is one of his friends. Quote unquote. I thought that was him for a second, but he's not tilting his head and I haven't noticed any balance issues, so that's not tippy. I hope he's okay. Just because just you don't see him every day doesn't mean he's not out there having fun and doing his thing, but... I guess I've uh, become a little too attached. Because <laughs> now I'm looking for him like every time I look out my window. The quest for tippy continues. <laughs> So this is the uh, little nut feeder we have. You can see they destroy it. Yeah. Not only that, but they pull the little plexiglass out of there and everything. It's it's like this a lot when I come out here. Yeah. <laughs> they figured out how to make it easier to access. Little stinkers. I haven't seen Tippy in a while. You haven't seen him in a couple of days. In about three days. Every now and then I think I get a glimpse of one of them. But our neighbor's backyard, both of our neighbors, they kind of live around us. They, uh, the backyards go on little ways. There's some water down there. Lots of squirrels. I'm just looking out there and I'm seeing like four yeah, or five. Yeah, so. I saw one or two just bouncing around a little bit. Mm -hmm. One of them was a, that's a little slow. <laughs> it's probably our friend. But I couldn't tell if it was tippy or not. But. This is definitely a squirrel paradise, this neighborhood. Oh my gosh, yeah. Lots of huge tall trees. They love our uh, wood piles because these go away every spring and summer because we uh, we burn them all down mostly. But we get a lot of debris in our yard, but they love hanging out out here under the tarps. We get a lot Let's of debris. See. We got a lot of hundred foot trees. <laughs> yeah. But we haven't seen him in a little while. There's the little hoppy squirrel. See him down there? He just jumped up on a tree. Yep. I don't think that's tippy. No, that might be crazy squirrel. Yeah, we have a couple of young kids that are psycho. <laughs> this so is where they funny. live. Let's see if I can show you their sky rise. There's a hole in that. They go in there and they have a little porch on top. They live there in the wintertime and they all cuddle up together and then they like to go and sit out on their porch in the springtime. It's very funny. Yeah. And then mom kicks, eventually kicks them all out in the springtime. Day, so the quest for Tippy continues. Tippy's back. I'm pretty sure that's Tippy. He's been missing for several days now. Well, not missing. We just haven't seen him. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's him. I'm gonna try to raise my window really quietly. Blower going, so you're not gonna be able to hear me too well. Let's see if I can get something. Try and do all this with one hand. 
It's tippy though, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's cocking his head. Got more peanuts closer to me. Yeah, that's him. There you go. So he cocks his head and he walks. There you go. You find one? There you go, there's one. Yeah, he hangs upside down to eat when he can't get his balance. I know squirrels do that all the time, but um, if he doesn't have somewhere to sit, up against something he tends to just find somewhere where he can hang upside down and eat it so it's hard for him to sit up and eat you know how you see most squirrels and they're just gonna sit there and eat something they'll just take that little stance that they do sit down and munch away tippy he'll do that but not well <laughs> so he uh he hangs upside down he got a leaf blower going like two doors down Sorry about the audio, but uh, I was getting worried about him. We were out looking for him for a few days. And there he is, still doing well. Oh, a little clumsy. <laughs> it's actually pretty stable for him to sit there like that. He does have his butt kind of on the tree, but his tail anyway. He's smart though, he'll stick to the shadows because he's not going to be able to see up very well or predators coming in from above. I, you know, I'm just speculating on all of that, but usually he'll be there or he'll be under those two little cedar trees in the background when, when, I, when I see him. Hey, Tip. <laughs> and there's the Jays coming to get the nuts. Hear him? And there's another little squirrel friend coming over. See him poking over the fence there? I haven't seen any of them mess with Tippy yet. Like, I haven't seen a squirrel, you know how they chase each other around and run each other off sometimes, but um, I haven't seen that happen with Tippy. I don't know if he just holds his ground or they just leave him alone or, or what the deal is, but. Find one. Do a handful out there. There you go. Not gonna sit in the shadow this time, huh? Balance actually looks pretty good today. Yeah, a little wobbly, not too bad though. Hey, buddy. I was telling Mary yesterday I was getting worried because I hadn't been able to find them. They get too attached to the little guys sometimes, the chipmunks and the squirrels. And... I like all the animals actually, but I'm getting worried about them.
I do worry that he'll get hit in the, in the street, but we see that pretty often around this time of year in this neighborhood. Which I'm sure is true in every neighborhood with squirrels because they go crazy this time of year. Spring, close to spring, springtime. It's almost like they're trying to get hit. I've never hit one, knock on wood, but I understand how it happens. It's not just negligence. Not always. You're a little shaky. Not too bad today. <laughs> I can't see anything wrong with his eyes at all. <clears throat> like I half expected to see one kind of clouded over. <clears throat> Or just outright missing damage, you know? But you see how, how close he gets to what he's looking for and he still won't see it. I'm pretty sure he's blind in that one eye. Nice. I take it back. I guess they do chase them off every now and then. They get your peanut, buddy. You want another one? Here, I can get one to you from there. Oh, you find one? It's okay. There it goes. Back into the shadows. I think he might live in that direction, actually. Not sure. I, I see him go in that direction quite often. There's a nice hickory tree or two over there. Maybe they, and I have seen the nests up there, so. Maybe that's where he goes. Case in point, see that tree right there? That's a hickory tree, and if you look up, there's his buddy that chased him around a second ago. And if you look further up, you'll see there's a nest. And that's definitely a squirrel nest. I've seen him in there. So the quest for Skippy is complete. We found him this time. Took about three or four days, but we got him. So I'm gonna quit making noise and let him eat in peace. But it's good to see him again. I'm sure he'll be back. 